as usual you all know i like easy busy things for you so your mobile phone go to your web browser any web browser of your choice you can actually do this but i'll be making a separate video on when you actually want to like send so many applications why you cannot use this particular web browser because of cookies and everything so the next video or the next two videos i'll be posting will be about that because i've discovered some things like especially maybe you've applied for this job and you actually get a negative reply yes your cookies anyways i'm making another video on this so make sure you're subscribed to this youtube channel anyways this video is not about that so as i said in my first video about uk care assistant and everything that was the very first video i i posted about the eligibility the requirements the everything and everything that you want you get it requires then one of the requirements I said was experience, but I actually said it is not compulsory. That you can actually do this without um experience, and I actually related it to a nanny work or a house help work. Like especially like I'm just trying to like give an example as per my Nigerian business, so that you guys will understand nanny house help, somebody that helps you at home, something like that. So that was what I tried to relate it with because that's how the job is similar to but in as much as i said you don't need experience when you are applying for this job yes i said you don't need experience to apply for this job but when you're actually applying let's say maybe for a particular care home i actually have a video where i have like two videos for care homes you can apply to verified care home step by step how to apply like make sure to click the link in the description box it will take you directly to uk um, uk playlist everything about uk everything you shall see there shall so what i'm trying to say is if you don't have experience right and again let's say they, there's actually two vacancies or maybe let's just say there's actually one vacancy in a particular care home you apply to it you don't have experience then somebody else apply to it the person has experience in this um healthcare assistant then another person apply to it again the person has bachelor's um this one ilts everything with experience if you were the recruiter, which one do you, which one would you go for? Okay, let's say that one is too complex. Let's say I'll just be giving an example for my own country. Let's say you are in Nigeria, you actually need a nanny, or you need um a house help, so that you guys will understand this basic thing and to actually help you when applying. You actually need a nanny or a house help, and then you call an agent that please I need a nanny. So this man brought like five nannies for you. Let's say one of them has school living certificate. The other one has bachelor's and what have you. Then the third one probably has, um, let's just say, school living certificate and an extra certificate where she went to study, where she went to school of nanny. I don't know if there's any word, any school like that, school of nanny. Like where she went to the school to train to be a nanny or to train to be a house safe. Between you and I, and let's say maybe the fourth person even have masters and the fifth person PhD, but only that person, that person with um school living certificate, add certificate of nanny. No man, it's not even as if you even need certificate for nanny or house help. It's just for somebody to help you in the house. You do not even require it. You just told the agent, please get me somebody. Then brought five people for you. If you were the employer, who would you pick? I'm sure you already know the answer. Of course, you go for the one that went to study it, that knows about it. You feel like you don't need, you don't need the degree the person has, the bachelor the person has is not bachelor in nanny or house, it's bachelor in something else. So you feel like it's not useful to you. Now, person will get the certificate of what you are talking about. That's what you, that's the person you will employ. And then now, if that person with bachelor's or the person with master's or the person is phd is is not about to run oh he did not get job he has phd he has master's he didn't get this job oh why why is the employer like this and why is he not getting this job can you now understand the analysis so sometimes even when you apply and you actually get a negative um response just know that is it that maybe somebody as somebody else was picked that was actually better than you so that was why i said in that my first video this is the minimum requirement but that does not stop you from staying stagnant in that minimum requirement they put an employment um vacancy outside and we need somebody with school living certificate that one does not mean if you have your master's you cannot apply it's just going to give you an edge we don't need somebody with experience that one does not mean if you have this experience they will not pick you over somebody that has this experience are, are you guys understand what i'm trying to say so if you know the minimum qualification you have is this, is that, and everything. You having an healthcare experience, 
healthcare assistant care worker supporter distant experience or certificate gives you another extra edge over your fellow applicants guys this program will remain just for 365 days consider so many countries that are applying africa asia um which continent africa alone and i'm sure that my nigerian people that they don't even want, they just want to jackpot so imagine how many people are applying from Nigeria. Imagine how many people are applying from Asia, Philippines, this one, that one. And you not think it's now your that your own that you want to sit down with that you don't have experience that they will pick. You say check out now. Of course, you get negative reply. So this one is just like a CV booster. Even if you've had experience in one other world, adding a certificate to your more certificate. That's why I say certificates, you know, you know, you know they finish. You keep adding, you keep adding. It's just for them to just select what they want. You keep adding anyways i'm talking too much so let's dive right into you so i hope you guys understand now let's go to the real deal florence academy so guys and that thing i will tell you is <clears throat> Looking for this work or anything, please don't accept cookie. I'll, I told you guys I'll make a separate video on that. About this cookie, don't accept cookie. So we're just going to scroll down to see how the website looks like. As of course, please, any website you check, make sure it has www.florence.co.uk. Can you guys see? So, of course, you can sign up and everything. So now free accredited accredited training for social care the first free provider of cpd accredited courses for uk social analysis and care complete your mandatory and specialty training in one place on mobile or desktop so guys can you see free training 100 percent and you can do it at your own pace anytime you like as you like you can use your mobile phone you can use your desktop even if you are actually still working even if you're in nigeria or you are still working or you're anywhere doing that 40 minutes break 30 minutes break or maybe where you work is this time like maybe if your boss just come in the morning they'll just take a walk the many days for you instead of you to be just with your friend instead of you to be laughing and everything go on this website search for these courses start studying be reading be doing something with your time and that's one thing that's why i make sure that any tutorial i post on my video on, on my youtube I make sure that I use on mobile because I think that mobile is the easiest access for anybody. Whether you are using Android, whether you are using Co Android, Anti Android, anything, just this website can work there. That's just one good thing about it. So it's mobile anywhere you are. Even maybe you are in a conference, you know those conferences that they will force you by fire by force because you are working one place. They tell you you have to come for this meeting. But you maybe you are plenty. You just be there. Take your phone. Be using these courses. Browse like. Do something important. No, I'm not saying that one is not important, but then you know. So take courses at your own pace, stop and save complete course in your own time. So that means you can start a course and then when you feel like maybe um you can't finish it, you can actually stop. Then when you come back again, you continue from where you stop. How good is this, guys? How good is this? Stop and save complete course in your own time. Course is broken down into easy chapters with progress saved at any point. So why I'm actually um stressing this is because some people might feel like oh they are not health they don't have health background they don't have um, health anything maybe you have you have um, commercial your heart you don't have anything you've you've never done anything relating to science this is it and trust me i was in medical school let me tell you as i used to tell people medicine nursing or anything health related is the simplest course you can ever study simplest and easiest that is because you are seeing what you're doing like economics they'll just tell you profit and lo uh, lost graph commercial they'll tell you a hey, man did one business and this thing you have to use yourself head and be imagining but something about medical or health anything you are seeing this thing if they tell you somebody has hypertension what are the symptoms of hypertension of course you would have probably seen a patient with hypertension before what symptoms is the person seeing just like the covid symptoms and somebody stay active in your sleep what are these signs or maybe somebody that has fever even malaria when they ask you that somebody that has malaria what symptom does he have do you have to be a science person no but you've seen it with your eyes you you that you had malaria how did you feel how was it this thing you can see that when i say science health related courses they are the most simplest 
the simplest you can ever study whether your heart whether your commercial even if you are the dullest in your family that you don't know anything you don't have to cram it because you can see with your eyes and for one truth is most people are actually virtual most people majority of people are virtual so when you can see something with your eyes you see that this is how they did it uh, just imagine when you're just with your friend maybe you experience um a accident or a robbery attack and then you're narrating to your friend the way you will narrate it as if you are there as if you're even involved hey hey that's how science is that's how health is you say what you see about what you saw and the thing is practice actually makes perfect so don't say eh, i don't have science i'm not in good with science i'm not you don't have to be good in science this is what you will see even whatever you learn is it you something you can practice with your body it's not as if it's one imaginable thing like other subjects you'll be telling and just like mathematics x plus y x plus you are not seeing the s you are not seeing the y you have to cram the formula you are not cramming anything here so course is broken down into easy chapters with progress saved at any point so you can start chapter one if you feel like maybe you've not digested that one continue with chapter two if you feel like this thing you can still go back to chapter one anything you can do it at your own pace nobody's watching you then try cross progress and view all your completed course so when you finish maybe chapter one you can go to chapter two few uh, you can be checking your progress doing this one like it's, it's just like everything online is just like the easiest thing to always do unlike physical you go to class the teacher lecturer is talking you don't even understand what they are saying but this one you can learn at your own pace you can wake up in the middle of the night you can be anywhere you can even be maybe you are even traveling from one location to another you're just sitting there you can still use your phone and be studying anytime any day even inside the anywhere so free certificate on completion so once you finish these chapters you have free certificate um on completion consists built by experienced clinician download as proof of training across social care so once you're done with your training you just download it as evidence within past that one so look at it they have some most popular um courses here so we have um basic life support mental capacity manual and Lee. can you see the numbers of chapters information guide and um, governance food hygiene health and safety can you see the number of courses that they have so for me to explore other courses i have to log in um so i don't have an account with them so you just click register and of course you put in your email address so guys i've actually logged in so let me just put a share me so guys after logging in now can you see i have most um topics now more courses day three and mandatory basic life support equality and diversity fire safety first aid food hygiene health safety welfare infection prevention and control information guidance manual and medication administration if you watched my previous video the last video i posted about verified uk um agencies or yes that you can apply to that or doing step by step how to apply to these places if you watch that video today you will notice that there was one job we saw that the job description was knowledge of medication administration i don't know if you watch that video today and like we did everything you will notice you remember anyways let's go medication competency as present mental capacity clinical so this one they just like gave it like a subdivision this one started to mandatory the modules contained within this session are primarily those modules required for Monday translative requirement. The frequency at which these are required to be repeated may differ from one session to another. So this next one is clinical. This session contains a wide variety of modules focused towards clinical care and management of specific conditions. These modules offer the theory only. You'll be required to undertake practical training and assessment for some of these modules before being signed as competent in that skills. Do you understand that English? Anywhere you even see clinical. Clinical means after you do your theory, you come and do practical. So you see things like this, acquire brain injury, you don't need it. So that's why I'm making this step by step to tell you the ones you need. So we'll still go back to this one. No? This started trying and this and there are some courses you need there as ethical assistant. But this clinical is either for um, medical students, nurses and all of that. This one acquire brain injury, you don't need them. <clears throat> Carry for somebody with epilepsy unless you have a special 
job this and then you have to do it in physical you can always do it in uk so what the course we need now is just to elevate you and go to where you're going you get so dementia which is actually a good topic Wild Parkinson's disease. I think it has um basal body of the brain, something like that. Sickle cell disease. This one is actually nice. At least you can get sickle cell disease um on patients in your listing easily. The next one is mental health. This session focuses on the importance of good mental health and some of the conditions more frequently associated with mental health illness and mental awareness. This one, of course, you don't need to have physical um training before the certificate building mental health resilience this one eating disorder and this is this other is actually a very good topic because even when you're reading it to be as if you are talking to yourself to be as if you are teaching yourself because most people have eating disorder you understand this is a very very good topic but i'm not sure there's actually like a job offer for it for my space so far there's no really job offer so when we are done checking all these topics i will tell you guys the ones you should actually go for that there are so much in high demand understanding behavior and challenges understanding working with people with who self harm management that should uh, so this one this one is just like management blah 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 you do not need this because when you do it, they are looking for care. Go, 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 go. Uh -huh. Now we're talking. So, personal development is a list of administration you can complete for your own development. Duty of care, women's code of conduct. Uh -huh. Wait, <coughs> just in case we cannot slide back. So, let me tell you the ones you need. Basic like support. Yes, you can do this course. Equality and diversity, no fire safety. You can do it as accessory first aid. Yes, you can do it. Are you guys taking notes? Food hygiene, mm, not really, not really. Do infection and prevention control very important. Like, and it could be like an extra um request for somebody that is work trying like healthcare assistant you know you work in the hospital setting so you should have um knowledge about infection prevention and control that kind of thing so you should do this one when uh, medication administration like i told you that we saw in that um job description you can actually do this one as well mental capacity anything mental there's actually high demand for nurses for mental anything you can do this one so this clinic, we are skipping everything because you need physical training for it. So next, for mental health, I told you anything mental health is always in high, blah, blah, blah. So you can do both. Somehow it can be really somehow difficult because mental health, some people are not really mentally okay. And you know, know because you can't see it. But those other ones, first aid and everything, you can see it with your eyes. But mental health is actually so you know I pick eating this eating disorders awareness because when you do it is as if you're talking to yourself like it's a very very interesting course very very interesting like you'll be able to relate very well but there's actually not really much job offer for that understanding behavior for challenges behavior that challenges you can do this one too and uh -huh. this understanding learning disability with autistic spectrum these are very very in, um interesting course. You can actually do it as well just in case as a care assistant maybe you're lucky to find somebody that needs um a support carer for for their world that has special needs like autistic or anything but so far that i've been looking for a job i've not seen offer for that but just in case you see just know that you can do this one working with people who save how many people that are depressed is actually a good course as well this all these management courses i'm not sure you can do this dignity in care anything relating to care record keeping mm -mm. so personal development duty of care yes you can do it anything relating to care and uh -huh. you see this florence code of conduct care for support worker and it's just one chapter so you can actually start with this one florence code of conduct care support worker care for support workers so you start with this one yes it's better to start with this one so that you know what it entails can you guys see they come to flores but to be addicted to clinical clinical
can you see how very simple it is? You can even listen to recording. As a care support worker working on the Florence platform. Can you guys see? You have recording, you have text, you have all the photos you want. We go never do for you. Kill you too fair. So as a case of what you I agree that. Blah, blah, blah. So. Medication and administration, just like that one too. You can do this one. I guess that's all. Right. So once you finish, once you've completed the course, of course, completed certificate, your certificate are automatically added to your Florence first account. You haven't completed any course yet. So this other one is for course. So guys, can you see that? I have very easy this. So when you just have this, and there is no minimum, there is, sorry. So guys there's no minimum to what there is minimum minimum is one but it's better if you do as much as you can and these courses can last as um <clears throat> depending on your understanding ability depending on your type of person depending on so many factors some people like somebody like me that i've been in medical school to busy for me than somebody that doesn't have any health anything and depending on your dedication you can finish in one week two weeks three weeks depending on how determined you are can finish any but anything you do just make sure like to kind of do it with your mind with your heart and everything so guys can you see a very simple and easy it is and you don't have to pay any money once you are just done just keep following it and then they will print out your um cannot simply your certificate so fam if you like this video if you enjoy it if i was able to blah 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 Please make sure to click this. I actually wanted to show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys something. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye.